Now I'm joined by Rob Leary. He is a flat owner who actually owns one of the flats just in the building behind us in East London. And now, Rob, you've uh, faced these types of problems uh, whereby essentially you're unable to sell your flat. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been trying to remortgage or sell for a year and a half now. Um, I'm actually stuck on a mortgage with my ex-girlfriend. I haven't been with her for a year and a half, but obviously because of the new regulations, I'm in a position where I can't, um, I can't sell, I can't do anything, and it's kind of left me, as you say, a mortgage prisoner. Um, you know, even just the remortgaging terms, I'm having to take on two people's costs as one. Uh, so for me, it's kind of really, really tricky as things stand. And if this continues, you know, it leaves me in a really tricky position. So obviously, we want action. We want these, you know, the cladding to be sorted quickly for safety purposes. But also, in terms of where we are financially, it's really leaving us in a huge, huge issue. Have you been given a time frame as to uh, when you could have one of these inspections carried out to make sure everything's okay? So our building has been inspected and as of August last year, um, so we got a letter through, it takes about eight weeks, we got a letter through around Christmas to say that our cladding needed to be changed. Uh, we're obviously in August 2020 now and nothing's changed. So, you know, our housing company have effectively left us in a building that we pay quite expensive service charge and ground rent to it, that, you know, in theory, is, is very, very dangerous. We've got highly flammable cladding. So we don't have the same cladding as Grenfell, which is ACM. We've got a type called rain screen cladding. And, you know, there's all these different types, which is really worrying across not just London, but the country that need looking into. And I, I kind of urge anyone in a building above or below 80 meters to make sure they get their buildings checked as soon as possible, because a lot of this material is highly flammable. And you were just saying to me just before, I mean, you could face a point where it literally doesn't become worth staying or having the property anymore. You might just have to give it up. I mean, how do you, what kind of impact will that have on you personally? Yeah, I mean, I've honestly put all my life savings into this property. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I want to move on with my life at some point. And I've, I've been here three years. Um, I've been quoted three to five years that this will be sorted for our building alone. I think that's... It's just a ridiculous amount of time. I might want to have a family in that time. I might want to just have a bigger property, you know. It's a one bed flat. It's, it's not big enough for a family, what have you. So, um, yeah, I mean, financially, uh, just kind of mentally, everything with it is kind of very challenging. Rob, thank you so much for joining us on RT this afternoon. And uh, uh, there we have it. The, uh, not just the financial cost, of course, but the personal cost and all the stress uh, that arises out of uh, these types of regulatory changes.